What is going on guys? So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Nyon box. Now, the Nyon box is a fork from the Cypher, from CypherTech's our, uh, NRF box version two. That project was really awesome and I'm glad that someone was able to basically recreate the project itself, kind of make it their own, less hacky and more, you know, fun essentially. So this was done by Jabo Hack and Kraken. Kraken took care of the 3D printed case and the PCB board and Jabo took care of the firmware side and they both work so well together. As you guys can see, the 3D print case is just flawless. Uh, I don't know if I wanna say it's minor, major, it all depends on who you ask, but my buttons don't reach my PCB board, so they just kinda are there, and I don't wanna push them too hard to basically crack the, the little tabs off. So when I flash, I end up having to just to take off the four screws in the back and flash the board that way. They do know that was an issue on some of the cases and they're working to, to get that fixed. But other than that, this, this is perfect. Look at the cat ears. Like that that's such a nice touch to the antennas, right? And as you guys can see, there's four antennas. There's three NRF 24s and then there's a Wi-Fi antenna as well. So since I have this, let's go ahead and go over the firmware and I will uh, take this apart and we can see the PCB. So as you guys can see, we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other. And then here we have level five and level menu. So we'll click level menu. So this has a similar leveling system to compared to like the Flipper Zero. The more you use it, the more experience you get and the quicker you level up. Now, that kind of just makes it more enjoyable to use, a reason to kind of use it. Uh, so we've got Wi-Fi, and then we have Wi-Fi scanner, channel analyzer, Wi-Fi deauthor, deauth scanner, beacon spam, and evil portal, Ponagachi detector, Ponagachi spam, all right? And again, I'm just going over these in a separate video. I'll go over them again and showcase what they do. In the BLE section, we have BLE scan, we have Nyon box detector, Flipper Zero Detector, Axon Detector, which is pretty cool. That's the body cam for police. Skim, skimmer Detector, AirTag Detector, AirTag Spoofer, and BLE Spammer, Sour Apple, BLE Spoofer, okay? Now, if you've been in this community for a little bit with the Flipper Zero or any other ESP32 device with custom firmware like Bruce or Evil M5, you'll know what a majority of those do, okay? And if not, watch the next video and I'll go over all that stuff, okay? Uh, scanner, analyzer, settings, about. Okay, so in the scanner, that's just gonna basically scan the different networks and it's gonna give you a little graph, right? Kind of cool. Analyzer is going to be the same thing, right? But it's going to, and it's gonna show channels, it's gonna show the level, and it's gonna show low, medium, or high. And it's gonna give you kind of this graph here. All right, settings, we've got the NeoPixel, Brightness, Dangerous, Sleep, Next P. Now Dangerous, again, I'll go over that in the next video, but essentially that is to turn on and off the BLE jammer, which we don't use because we live in a multi-unit building and I definitely don't want that to uh, disrupt any anybody's Bluetooth stuff, especially if it's medical. So I leave that off just to be safe. There's no need for me to use it. And then about, we've got Nyon Box, so you go to nyondevices.com, that's where you can get one of these. Jabo and ZR Kraken both made this incredible device. And then the firmware version is 2.9.3. All right, so, and that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and take a part, the back cover, and we'll go ahead and look at the PCB. Now I like to do this manually because I don't like to have the screwdriver over torque the screws and mess up the 3D printed case or any of the uh, threaded inserts that are in here. So I like to do everything by hand when I unscrew these. All right, moment of truth. All right, so right here we have a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. You guys can see that there. And then here is the PCB board. The black here, let's set this down really quick. I'm gonna disconnect the battery. All right, and let's go ahead and grab my pencil. All right, so here we have the three NRF24 modules, 
We have an ESP32 uh, ESP32 uh, ESP32 room, all right? And we have our battery connector, the USB-C, and then these are our boot button and RST button. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And then we've got our four SMA antennas. Three of them are connected to the NRF24, and the other one is connected to the Wi-Fi, all right? So pretty cool, nothing too crazy with the PCB, no special silk screen or anything like that, but maybe that'll come in another revision of, of the device. But for right now, everything works, it's perfect. Well, all right, that is going to be it for the device. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, again, I will be making another one specifically for the firmware side, so uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to get those answered for you. I'll leave a lot of the links in the description uh, for where you can get this and everything like that and uh, to their Discord server as well if you guys want to join that and get a little bit more information there too and ask questions. But anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.